Hey guys, if you just got your MTW, included in the packet was a little sheet called your quick start guide. This is going to be a video version of the same instructions showing you all the basic settings, how to get stuff set up so that you can get going. Let's jump right in with What the Tech. What the Tech? So inside your box with your MTW, one of the things you got was this handy little quick start guide. What we're gonna be doing today is going through this and showing you what all this is. So first, things you're gonna need. You're gonna need your MTW. Today we have a nice canary yellow variant with the seven inch barrel so it fits nicely on the screen. Uh, you will need a battery. We recommend the 7.4 volt mini lipo um, just about anything in the 250 to 500 uh, milliamp hour size will work well depending on what shape they are you could use a larger battery basically it needs to be able to something that will fit easily inside the buffer tube and needs to have a JSD connector there you will need an HPA tank we have an old beat up one here that's seen many many battles and you will need a regulator. We recommend the Storm on Tank regulator, which is, we have a prototype version of here. This is one of the first prototypes that we've uh, been using around the shop ever since. And then you will need an airline. Here we have one of our custom braided airlines, uh, our flex lines. With the regulator, if you're not using a storm, you will need some other airsoft regulator that is in the 60 to 140 PSI range. Uh, do note, for those of you in Europe, we do use Foster spec fittings, uh, so th that's what you're going to need. You're going to need an airline with a Foster spec uh, fitting on the end. All, again, all of our uh, flex lines come with Foster fitting. So. This is really easy. It comes out of the box, put together, ready to go. So all we're going to do is push the back body pin through. Uh, do note that on new guns, these pins and detents are sometimes pretty stiff. Um, they, they tend to break in with use, but you might find it helpful to use a something that isn't gonna mar the surface, like here's a Sharpie, um, maybe the back end of a screwdriver that has a soft handle, something like that. Uh, to push it through, pop it out, and then the gun is going to be able to separate like so. We're going to take our battery, pull the airline out of the buffer tube. Now, there's a number of ways you can stash the battery. You're welcome to experiment to see what works best with your particular battery, but what we find works best is if you plug in the battery, feed the balance port in first, and then follow up with everything else. Okay. Note that the wiring here, we actually have it on the wrong side, so I'm gonna fix this, show you what we mean by the left and right side of the airline. Generally, it works best if you put the wiring on the left side of the airline if you're facing towards the front of the gun. Can go either way, but it fits better if it's right like that. Okay, and it'll just sit down inside there and then when you close the upper, the wiring is going to go underneath the back pin lug there, just like so. Press the pin back in, and you're ready to go. Make sure you're, you're pointing in a safe direction as always. Always treat your gun as if it's loaded. You can check. We find that we have <coughs> half power. Next, we're going to need our tank. We have set our tank to uh, 100 PSI on our storm regulator here. I recommend starting at 100 PSI. Uh, depending on the, uh, the model you have, this will probably, and the BBs you're using and a few other variables, this will probably put you in the 1.3 to 1.5 joule range for most applications. Now, to plug in the air, what we're going to do is pull down on the collar press the fittings together, and then release the collar. There you go. 
Again, we're set at 100 PSI. You can adjust from there, uh, anywhere in the 60 to 140 PSI range uh, to meet your local laws as well as the rules at the field that you're playing at. Uh, we will note that the, as you see on the back here, um, all 14.5 inch MTWs uh, are shipped with a flow reducer installed in the airline. Uh, this keeps the energy uh, just a little under two joules, uh, which is uh, we've done for a couple reasons. One, there's quite a few countries that have a two joule limit, so we want to keep the, the out of the box energy to uh, within those laws. And also, we just this is a gun that you can take out of the box and start shooting right away. We don't want somebody that is not experienced with these types of systems to accidentally hurt somebody uh, not being aware of the energy levels that they're shooting at. So, uh, if you change the airline to one of something like one of our uh, custom flex lines here for the, or uh, sorry, our custom FGLs, filtered grip lines, which keep dirt and debris out of your system. Highly, highly recommend these. Uh, we'll have a separate video on how to install them, uh, but they do not have the flow reducer installed. So if you install one of them, be aware that your energy output uh, for the 14.5 inch model is going to change. The 10 inch model does not have a flow reducer installed. Uh, the energy limits uh, without it are within safe levels. So right now we're going to Test fire, I'm going to test fire once off screen into something soft to make sure that if there's a BB in the chamber, we don't shoot something. Okay, we're clear. There we go. And you're ready to play at this point. Put a mag in and you're all set. So that is your quick start guide. Let me point out a couple things on here as well. Please go download and read the full user's manual. There's a lot of information in there uh, about how to tune the gun for best efficiency, uh, safety warnings, and other things that you really need to know, especially if you are new to HPA. Please read this in full before you use the gun. It is well worth your time. Second, your gun comes with a limited lifetime warranty. We are extremely proud to be able to offer this. Please read the terms of the warranty be aware that you do need to sign up for it. There is a link on your quick start guide where you can go register. So uh, be sure to do that, get your gun registered so that uh, you can take advantage of that warranty if you need to in the future. You will need a few things. You will need to register. You will need your proof of purchase. You will also need your serial number, which is gonna, it will be lo located right in this area. On, the, on your production MTW. So make sure you have those pieces of information when you go to register for warranty. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. This has been your quick start guide for the MTW.